what's the best way to heat a room without electricity? What's the best way to heat a room in an energy outage? This question has been hunting me for several months now, especially since I have published videos on heating with wood, heating with candles. I have written so many articles on heating with, with gas. And yesterday I've been spending 12 hours to find the objectively best way to heat a room without electricity. And with objectively, I mean that this is not an opinion. This is based on data, on facts. And in this video, we're going to talk about just that. So here's the quick answer. The best method to heat a room without electricity is wood. Wood has the highest amount of heat that you get for your dollar spent. The second best way to heat a room without electricity is propane gas, which is per amount of heat three times as expensive as wood, but it's still much more affordable than the other methods. The worst way to heat a room without electricity is using candles and flower pot heaters. They are incredibly expensive. Even if you take the cheapest candles you can find anywhere on the market, heating with candles is absolutely financially unfeasible. Maybe in an emergency it's okay to light one or two candles, but it's not a reliable method to heat. Okay, so here's how I got to these conclusions. First of all, I've compiled a huge data set of how much heat wood contains, how much heat does propane gas contain and how much heat candles contain. And then after finding the amount of heat stored in each of those heat sources, I have looked up the cost of each of those heat sources. For wood, I have made a huge compilation of different types of wood. In the example calculation, I use I use beech wood. And for candles, I have used the cheapest Walmart candles you can find, which is about five cents per candle. For propane gas, I have used the American average value of a 20 pounds propane gas tank refill, which is around $15. And from the amount of heat stored in a heat source and the amount of dollars you have to spend for that heat source, you can calculate how much heat you get per dollar spent. Or you can calculate the inverse of that, which would be how many dollars you have to spend for one unit of energy. So here's the table with the data that I found. And as you can see, wood is surprisingly cheap. For 1 million British thermal units, which is a measurement of heat energy, you have to spend around $10.91. For propane gas, you have to pay $35.28 for the same amount of heat energy. So propane gas is already more than three times as expensive as wood is. And with the cheapest candles, the very cheapest candles I could find, the minimum amount of Dollars you have to spend for the same amount of heat that would cost you $10 or $35 with wood or gas, you would have to spend $140 with candles. And that's an incredible sum. And now comes the worst thing about heating with candles, which is that in a crisis, in an energy outage, or in a situation leading up to an energy outage, in, in a very tense political situation, the prices of candles rise sharply and in the worst case they are even not in stock. And I have made an example calculation with some other candles that I found online. For example, currently on Amazon all the candles are sold out because of the fear right now. And uh, there are some sets of candles available for 26 cents to, 30, uh, to 33 cents per candle. And with these prices per candle, the amount of dollars you have to spend for getting the same amount of heat that would cost you $10 or $35 with, with wood or gas would be $710 to about $900 for these inflated candle prices. So heating with candles in a crisis is 
absolutely infeasible. Never think about using a candle. Flower potitas are completely overpriced. Yes, they are a hype right now on, on YouTube uh, where people build fancy heaters that are based on candles. And yeah, they say they produce a lot of heat, but that's just not the case. Maybe a flower pot heater can keep a room warm, but at which price? If you pay 70x or even 90x of what you would pay for the same amount of heat if you used a wood stove, then that's a completely nonsense method. Instead, if there's an energy outage, if you need to heat a room without electricity, stick to wood or gas. Especially if you already have a wood burning stove at home, then using wood is no question at all. Getting wood is very affordable. A cord of wood costs you about $300. It depends on the type and species that you get. And the exact amount of heat that the wood produces also varies slightly by the type uh, of wood that you have in your area. But in general, all relevant sorts of wood uh, produce about the same amount of heat per dollar spent. And heating with wood in a crisis is very effective because you can prepare the wood at home, you can put in work yourself to save money, you can stack that wood, you can have a huge storage of wood in your garden uh, that will last you for years. And wood heat is very, very strong. So a simple wood stove is able to heat very large rooms. The other method to heat a room without electricity, the, the second best option, which is almost three times more expensive than wood, is propane gas. Propane gas is very good when you don't have a wood stove at home and you can just get a propane heater. I have linked one in the description down below. It's my favorite model. It's a Mr. Heater Big Body. Um, these heaters can output a lot of heat and they are very good when you don't have a wood stove at home or when you can't prepare the wood. Then all you have to get is one or two 20 pound propane gas tanks and they are able to heat your room for several days, if not weeks, depending on the settings. On the very highest settings, you can heat a huge apartment on uh, for for 24 hours on a 20 pound tank however nobody uses that setting because it's absolutely overpowered and it's only meant for very big rooms so usually you can go with the quarter setting or the half power setting uh, which would make a an average 20 pound propane gas tank last you for several days now, I still prepare heating using wood because you can stack a lot of wood in your garden and wood is even more cost effective. But if you don't have a wood stove, which also involves installation cost, you may have to, to build a chimney first or get a chimney insert or something like that. Depending on your situation, propane gas might be the best way to heat a room without electricity in, in your case. So that has been my research. If you want to find out more on the different heating methods, the, the cost you have to spend, how much heat capacity each material has and how different methods compare. I have also looked at heating using electric blankets and power banks and I have also looked at heating using generators. I have looked at heating using live animals which is more of a theoretical uh, look. But for example, if you had a cow at home, then that cow would produce about the same heat as, as a regular space heater. So that's quite interesting. If you're interested in all that kind of stuff, then have a look at the full article, the full research text in my description down below. I broke everything down, uh, fully digestible for you. And if that content was helpful, if you like this video, then please, Show that in the comments down below and leave a like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.